Western Michigan put up 621 yards of total offense in the season opener last Friday night against Syracuse at Waldo Stadium. Quarterback John Wassink threw three touchdown passes and ran for another touchdown. D. Eskridge had 240 yards receiving in two touchdowns, and Levante Bellamy rushed for 120 yards and two touchdowns. But a second half rally by the Broncos fell short in a 55-42 loss to Syracuse. I'm Robin Hook. Coming up, head coach Tim Lester joins me for all the highlights on week one of Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is a production of Western Michigan University Athletics and WMU Media Services and is brought to you in part by Greenleaf Trust, financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. A part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. When home improvements are in your future, you should call BlackBerry. For more than 35 years, BlackBerry has provided windows, roofing, siding, and sunrooms with thousands of satisfied customers throughout West Michigan. Right now at BlackBerry, you can get 10 of our best-selling, high-performance, double-hung windows for only $48.60 installed. 18 months no interest and $48.60 installed. Call today or go to BlackBerrySystems.com. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Auto Group. We know that car buying is a journey, not just a destination. We know that we need to be there each step of the way for you. Through parts, sales, service, through your entire ownership experience. At Maple Hill Auto Group, we look at every customer, not as a single purchase, but rather as a start to a journey that we hope spans generations. Maple Hill Auto Group, for a journey like no other. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who put their trust in us, and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Nulty Insurance is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Western Michigan and ACC opponent Syracuse opening the 2018 season last Friday night at Waldo Stadium in Kalamazoo. And the Broncos put on quite a show, particularly in the second half, but they came up short, falling to the Orange 55-42. to With head coach Tim Lester, and that was quite a ball game, particularly the second half. Yeah, we, we came out second half firing. You know, we got to work on the first half, obviously. We came out slow. We were playing a little timid, you know, and... Um, and we got we regrouped at halftime and came out. I was proud of the way they played the second half. The Broncos were uh, up against an ACC opponent at home, had a good crowd on hand for the opener, and uh, they battled back in the second half and nearly pulled it out. But uh, great night for football at Waldo Stadium. The fans were out having a good time. Yeah, it was. Uh, the crowd was great. They were loud. They were behind us. You know, we wish we wish could have gave them some more early on to get them going, but. Uh, you know, the band was there. I, I thought the, the, we really showed, you know, the ACC crowd that uh, what Kalamazoo is all about. All right, the Bronco Marching Band in their pregame show, and then uh, Western Michigan rocking the All-Browns in this game. We did. We got new uniforms. The kids designed them. They loved them. You know, it's, uh, for, the, for those of us traditionalists out there, they love when we wear the brown. I know we wear black a lot, but uh, the guys were fired up to wear the brown, and we had their, they had their new chrome face masks. So it was, uh, the guys were fired up. Best entrance in college football. Here comes Triumph leading the Broncos out of the field. Yeah, it's a, every, it never gets old from a player to an assistant coach to being the head coach. Watch seeing that horse, and it's a, it's a special way to start the day. All right, Syracuse in town, and you're familiar with them. You uh, worked there for a few years. I did, and, and I got to see some guys that I recruited, and, and that kicker being one of the main guys. But uh, it, it was fun to see them, and, and I wish them all the best. All right, here's uh, Levante Bellamy with a quick swing pass, and John Wasink. 
making the start after coming back from an injury that sidelined him the second half of last year. Yeah, I mean, we had everyone back, and, and luckily we stayed healthy. And I, I really felt offensively we were just disjointed early. You know, until this run right here, you know, we were we were three and out, three and out, three and out. And we, and we kept trying to lean on pounding the rock, and Jamari Bogan made a big play for us. 59 yards, Jamari Bogan. and. All three of your backs, Coach, average 10 yards a carry in this game. Yeah, I mean, it's our, we have a special offensive line. Here's a great job getting into the end zone by Bells. Um, you know, we can be explosive. All, all our backs can be explosive, and, and they showed that, and we just got to be more consistent with it. How about that hole? Levante just waltzed in. Yeah, our offensive line did a great job, and especially when we got down and they knew we had to throw it. Uh, they did a great job of keeping John clean. He only got hit a couple times for, for a team for a day we threw the ball 36 times. There's the Bronco there Radio are. Network getting a little wave there. And uh, back to football, and here you are grinding out some more yards. You had a lot of new guys on defense. Yeah, we knew that. I think everyone knew that going in, you know, that we were going to have some new new people, and, and, and they got a lot of valued experience, and I, they fought hard, and they're only going to get better every week. Sure. Broncos and uh, Syracuse, let's go back to Waldo Stadium for his second quarter action as the Spirit teams, the cheer and the dance, we're back at it. Folks having a good time on the hill, and now here goes your defense against a really good quarterback, Eric Dungey. Yeah, he's a good one, and, uh, you know, running the ball especially. I thought we did a good job slowing us, passing him down. He had a couple big plays on us, uh, but, I mean, I think he was like 7 of 18 or something like that. He ran, running is where he hurt us, and, and, uh, and some we're going to have to do better that, in, that better than we did in the, in the future. Monte Bellamy picking up a first down. Now you run a little... Inside pass to D. Eskridge, what a night he had. He's the Mac West Offensive Player of the Week after 240 yards. Yeah, I was proud of the way he played. He blocked well. He, he caught some hitches. He caught some, some posts. Obviously, those are the ones everyone was, remembers. But then he ran stop routes. And I think he did a good job being a complete, complete receiver for us. That's your other number seven, Najee Clayton, getting a sack. And... Here's your special teams going to work. Nick Mahalik, your freshman punter, did a pretty good job. First time, yeah, he's nervous. I mean, he's, I think he's better than he showed. Uh, you know, we're trying to kick away. We're doing the Darius Phillips and trying to kick away from their kicker the whole day, which, which hurt our kicking game a little bit. But they had a guy that was behind Darius in pretty much every category last year, and we did not want to let him, we did not want to put the ball in his hands. Band out performing at halftime, and the coach is in the locker room breaking it all down. And, wow, what a good job they did because the Broncos came out and scored four third quarter touchdowns. We'll recap the third quarter next on Bronco Review. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Weston's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. That you are for your next car. You trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more, like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, and perfect paint matching. Dunchy also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for personal service and high quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame at 375-2100 or visit their website, dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Choosing your home isn't easy. This is where your kids will draw on the walls, where the people you love will gather to laugh and cry. It's a big decision, which is why choosing your mortgage partner should be easy. With low rates and quick turnaround, Arbor Financial Credit Union can create a customized mortgage solution that is right for you. Visit us at arborfcu.org to find out more. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here. Grow here. Little Caesars has done it again by giving you one large pizza piled high with five delicious meat toppings, hot and ready every day between 4 and 8 p.m. for only nine bucks. You heard me right. Count them. One, two, three, four, five. Meat toppings, including pepperoni, sausage, bacon, beef, and ham. Order yours on our convenient mobile app or simply walk into Little Caesars and pick up your large, hot and ready five meat feast for just $9 tonight. Pizza, pizza. Four to seven, the Broncos were down at halftime last Friday at Waldo Stadium against Syracuse, but what a second half comeback by the team, 
And coach, whatever you said to them at halftime, you might want to bottle that. That worked pretty good. Yeah, that was proud of the way they came out. Uh, I got to use that before the game. Uh, we need to play better in the first half, but they really showed a lot of heart coming out, and uh, I was proud of the way the adjustments the coaches made and the way the players handled it. What did you talk about at halftime? We tried to keep them calm. We, we, we made a lot of structural changes in what we were doing, but I really just wanted them to relax and play. We were, we were tight, you know, so yelling at them is only going to get them tighter. And, uh, and they believed and they relaxed, and, man, did they come out playing. Came out calm in the third quarter as uh, you came up with an early turnover. Najee Clayton forces a fumble. And then Ali Fayed recovers the football. I mean, it was first play. I mean, we kicked off first play. Two plays later, we're in the end zone. Uh, it was a great way to get a little bit of momentum play, uh, going. And so Najee Clayton and, and obviously Ali are, are guys we count on, and they're going to have the big years. Run a quick out here to D. Wayne. He makes a nice stiff arm and then stays in bounds and into the end zone. His first two touchdowns. Tight, tight ropes to sidelines. I mean, he's he's a way stronger guy than people think. Everyone knows he's fast, but he's he's extremely strong. And, uh, you know, had a great game for us, doing a little bit of everything. And this obviously blew up in this half because we, we got better leverage and we started taking some shots with him down the field. Avante Bellamy showing his speed, and uh, he shaved almost a full second off his 40 time. Yes, he is a 4-3-3, and, uh, and we were going nuts last year when he was like a 4-3-9. So it's, it's just amazing how, how fast he is. And him and, and D. Eskridge, that's, that's NFL speed out on the field. All right, Wassink back to work. Throws a quick swing pass here as the Broncos work up the boundary and you got the football back thanks to your defense, which was getting some stops. And now you go deep on the post route to D. Eskridge. Yeah, I mean, he's a special player. And he, if you you got to give him a lot of space to make sure he doesn't run by. And John can actually throw the ball further than people think. And, and it really, the combination of those two, uh, you know, having Jaden Reed next to him and being able to make some plays has helped us too. And, and hopefully this is just the beginning of, of a lot of those because if they're going to come up and try to stop our run game, this is something we need to be able to do. I don't even think D had it in full gear. I think he had another. <laughs> he was just dancing by those guys. The next one he did. You're, you will see that one pretty soon. But he, because he, the guy was 15 yards off when he still hit him. There's KG making a sack. It was Kaylen, good to see him make a play. Kalen Guillory with the sack and gets you the football right back. And here goes Levante. Slips a tackle, and he's gone. And that's our fastest guy on our team right there by the numbers, by one one-hundredth of a second over D. Uh, those two are special, too. And, and uh, man, when you get him a little bit of a crease, he can really he can be a difference maker for us. All right, and now all of a sudden you're chipping away at that lead, and you're getting back into it, and your defense is making plays. Yeah, I mean, they struggled early on, and they just kept fighting and fighting and fighting. And I was proud of the fight of those guys, and I know they gave up some points. and and. Uh, you know, we were able to continue to fight back in the game, and we hit the quarterback a lot, knocked him out for a little bit, and, uh, you know, the, I was proud of the defense. It's John Wasink getting into the end zone, and uh, you're one touchdown away from taking the lead. We're in the game, yeah. We, we just didn't we didn't really worry about the scoreboard. We just were going to keep our heads down and play, and here's the second post. This is a heck of a catch because he underthrew it just a tad, and uh, and then he gets whipped and thrown on the ground. and uh, So it's it's – we have plenty of firepower. we got to come out playing aggressive, and it doesn't mean we're going to score like that all the time, but it gives us a chance. All right, and the fans were having fun. Uh, Syracuse fans were a little, a little nervous about this point. It got pretty quiet towards the end of the third quarter as we were fighting, and it happened so fast. I was, you know, the, the guys were believing, and, and that's what we need to be for the rest of the year. So it's a football game going to the fourth quarter, and that's where most games are won or lost. And you were right there. Yeah, they put Dungey back in the game, and he, they, they wanted to sit him out because he got banged up. And uh, and so we we did a good job. I felt like we, we stalled a couple times on offense, and we scored four touchdowns in the third. So uh, we stalled a little bit, and then we got it right back going again. And we got Bird going a little bit here. This is uh, Jaden Reed, nicknamed Bird. So, um, you know, it's fun to watch him get going. And John really settled in. And, uh, and against this two-minute drill, drop eight coverage, we went down the field and scored. And... Uh, that, that's going to be, we're going to need to do that down the road. Jaden Reed from Naperville, and uh, he and uh, D put on quite a show. They did. They kept cheating their, uh, here's one down the middle. Uh, you know, he, they kept cheating their free over to Drake's side. And I, I told them all week long, Drake, it's going to be hard to get you going. But hey, D, hey, Bird, you could have a heck of a game. And they both, they both did. There's your... Uh, Offense trying to keep things going. That's Chase Brown. He just wouldn't go down. Yes, young young running back. He's got a bright, bright future, and he is a tough sucker. That's the Bronco D on a 
on a goal line stand there, Antonio Balabani getting them stopped. Yeah, we knew we were in a tough spot late, so we started going for it on fourth down a lot, put our defense in some really tough situations, and they answered the call in the fourth quarter. And uh, third and fourth quarter, I was I was so excited about their fight, and uh, and we need if we can put that together for 60 minutes, we're going to be a really hard team to beat. Saw Jaden Reed get into the house there with his first collegiate touchdown. There's another catch in the second half by D. Wayne Eskridge over the top, and you know he had some. Uh, health issues last year he had a cast on his hand for much of the year that really limited his pass catching ability yeah I love when I talk to people and they talk about how his, his hands were just okay last year well he had a he had a cast on his hand the whole time and uh, he's got great hands he's got great speed he's had a great offseason really become a better route runner and uh, the combination is, is pretty good for for him and his future another look at a touchdown we saw earlier there from John Wasink as Western Michigan trying to hang in there couldn't quite do it as you fall 55 to 42, but coach, you had 621 yards and they ran 26 more plays than you. They had 560 yards. Yeah, I, I mean, that, that just goes to show how explosive we can be. You know, I've never been part of a 500 yard half before, um, which just means we probably can get a thousand in a game, you know? <laughs> uh, you know, we got to work on our turnovers. The one turnover, John got hit as he threw it and that's going to happen. Uh, the other one was a low throw that D tried to go down and ended up scooping it. So, I mean, the turnovers we had were, were not ill-advised ill by any means. So we missed the throw and we, got, we, we messed up with the three technique. Our line, I mean, John got hit twice all game and one happened to be in the mid-throw and, and, and the ball fluttered. So, I was proud. We weren't careless with the ball, but yet we were aggressive. And when we can find that combination of being a super aggressive offense that's not careless with the ball, now you're, now you're hard to beat. No doubt. We'll come back and talk more Bronco football as we continue after this time out on Bronco Review. When you need home improvements, you should call BlackBerry. Do you need a new roof? Give us a call. We're one of the area's most trusted and professional roofing contractors, having completed thousands of roofing jobs throughout West Michigan. Right now, you can save 50% off the installation of our new roofing, featuring the Owens Corning Duration Shingle that comes with a limited lifetime warranty for installation and materials. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. Whether it's your knee, back, or wrist, a small pain can be a big problem that affects everything you do. Ascension Care Teams at Borges take the time to listen because listening to you helps us see your whole picture. More conversation, more back and forth, more questions and answers. That's what helps us understand all aspects of you and your life. Find an orthopedic doctor who is right for you at borges.com slash orthopedics. A part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Maple Hill is proud to be a Subaru dealer. Subaru, it is like no other. Because of the 35 miles per gallon that you get in the summer, and the all-wheel drive in the winter, the five-star crash test ratings, the recommendations year after year from the best consumer magazines out there. Own it and you'll say, I love my Subaru. At Maple Hill Subaru, it is a journey like no other. More devices, more apps, more streaming. Today, we need more speed than ever to stay connected. So we're making the best in-home Wi-Fi experience even better. We're giving our customers faster speeds and including them in our most popular plans at no additional cost. We've increased our speeds 17 times in 17 years. So you can keep streaming, sharing, and connecting like never before. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Broncos put up 621 yards of total offense against an ACC defense, and the guy calling the plays this year, this guy, the head coach, Tim Lester, <laughs> back in the saddle calling plays. Yeah, I'm, I'm back to where I feel comfortable. You know, I, this is, last year was the only year I didn't, and uh, I felt comfortable in there. I, I, I think we have some talent. I think they, 
I, I like being in front of the kids and, and working with them about the, on the football side of things, and they get to know me better, I get to know them better, and uh, it was a good start. We got a long way to go, but it was a good start. I think they're starting to believe in, in what we're doing and the firepower we have to do it. Broncos have a lot of weapons now on offense for Coach Lester to get the football too. Last year, your big play guy was really special teams guy, Darius Phillips, and his kick returning and punt returning ability. But now you've got those big play personnel on the offensive side. Yeah, and we have a, we have a bunch. I mean, D. Eskridge is the obvious one everyone saw. I think uh, Jaden Reed's one that no one knows about. Bellamy was hurt. Uh, he kind of was one of our big – he was the one I was really excited about when he was healthy the first five or six games last year. Chase Brown's going to be another one. Probably one of our biggest guys last year was Gio. We haven't got him going. And then there's Drake Harris. So um, there's a lot of weapons, you know. And I was purposely trying to get Drake going. I knew it was going to be hard with the coverages they were playing. Uh, trying to get the young kid going. Got Bellamy in some space. And, and um, I have hit charts to make sure I'm getting the right guys the ball in some space. And, and, uh, but there's a, there's a lot of people that try to get the ball in some space. So it's, it's exciting for me as a play caller. And one of the guys we didn't even see was Keyshawn Watson, but he'll – be ready to go this week. He was our leading receiver last year, and uh, so he, he was. It was a game time decision. He just wasn't quite ready. We wanted to hold him off. So uh, so we're going to get our number one receiver from last year back. So it's it's exciting. All right, this week it's the Michigan Wolverines. The Broncos travel to Ann Arbor to meet Michigan in the Big House. We'll come back and look ahead to week two next on Bronco Review. Introducing Little Caesars Large Hot and Ready Five Meat Feast with five delicious meat toppings. One, two, three, four, five. Including pepperoni, sausage, bacon, beef, and ham. Only $9 at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. A part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Weston's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. That's you for your next car. The people who accomplish so much are always striving to do even more. Now, with our help, they will. It's time for more. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your friends and family about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the largest credit union in Michigan. With one of the highest checking account rates in the nation, and guarantee low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Earn more when you save, pay less when you borrow. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. Put your hands to your mouth and holla. Five dollars. Holla. Five dollars. Holla. How much did it cost? Five dollars. It's four slices of deep, deep dish and a Pepsi for just five dollars. Pizza, pizza. Next up for the Broncos, a trip to Ann Arbor. They take on the Michigan Wolverines Saturday at 12 noon kickoff in the Big House. And that will be exciting, Coach, for your Michigan natives. Yeah, I mean, this is a dream come true for, for all our Michigan kids. We have a ton of them, you know. So this is something they grew up watching the Michigan, Michigan State, Michigan, Ohio State game. So I've never been in the building for all the cool places I've got to play and coach. This is one I haven't been to. So I'm excited to, to be there. All right, the Broncos in Michigan. And uh, here's a team, the Wolverines that uh, were given a lot of respect going into the season and they lost their opener 
on national television in Notre Dame. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they have a chip on their shoulder. Uh, defensively, they're arguably one of the best in the country. Um, offensively, they're still trying to find their rhythm, you know. But uh, defensively, we are up for a challenge and a half. And Don Brown, their D coordinator, is the best in the business, in my opinion. And uh, they got about five, six, seven NFL guys on this defense. So our guys are excited about the challenge. If you want, you want to play these type of teams, you're going to play these type of players. So uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us. Over on offense, Michigan has a transfer from Mississippi, Shea Patterson. And he played his first game for Michigan Saturday against Notre Dame. Yeah, he's a talented kid. You watch his, his Ole Miss tape, and he's all over the place as far as he can throw, make every throw from every arm angle. And... Uh, you know, the interesting thing for the for us is, are they going to be more pro style or more spread? He's a spread guy, but they're more pro style, so they're trying to mend the two. And Notre Dame did such a good job. Their D line is so talented at Notre Dame that that they got in the backfield and, and they kind of threw just threw them off rhythm on offense. So it'll be interesting to see what combo that Coach Harbaugh wants to go with. And but he's definitely a talented player. They have talented players. I think they're just identity wise, they got to figure out who they want to be, and we're trying to prepare for both. Higdon, a uh, great running back, and Peoples-Jones out there on the edge at wideout. Man, Peoples-Jones can run now. I mean, <laughs> he's he reminds me of some of our guys running the ball uh, and I mean, see, running with the ball. And uh, Karan Higdon, just a powerful, strong, great kid, uh, downhill A-gap runner. You know, So I don't know if they're going to line up and just try to hammer it in the A-gaps or try to spread us out and let Shea run around because Shea's pretty good when he gets in some space. So uh, we're going to find out soon enough, and uh, hopefully we can keep them off rhythm. Notre Dame did a great job of not, never letting them, and then they got ahead, and you played for with, without, without a lead. So it's going to be an exciting day for us. And over on defense, Winovich and Rashawn Gary, he might be the best defensive player in the country. In the country. He is a special kid, and he's strong, and he's fast. Their D-line their D is special, and they're two of their linebackers are two of the best I've seen, and, and, um, and their eye discipline is off the charts. I mean, there's a reason – I mean, they've they've struggled on offense here and there, but their defense always holds people under 20 points, you know, which is amazing to do. And uh, they're always a top 10 defense in the country, and and I don't think it's going to be any different this year. It's a great challenge, and I faced Coach Brown one other time when I was at Syracuse. He was at Boston College, and it was a battle then too. So he didn't have the players that he has now, but um, but it's going to be a battle, and you know, we're looking forward to it. And of course, uh, Jim Harbaugh's dad, Jack Harbaugh, was a head coach for the Broncos back when I first started doing the games on the radio. So it should be a lot of fun. Good luck against the Wolverines. I appreciate it. It's going to be fun. Western Michigan and the Michigan Wolverines coming up on Saturday. That's a 12 noon kickoff, and the Broncos return home the following week against Delaware State. We'll have the highlights of the Western Michigan-Michigan game on our next Brock Whitman show. Coach Luster and our staff, I'm Robin Hook. Thanks for watching. See you next week.